Soccer ball is kicked from the ground level with an initial vertical velocity of 32 feet per second. That's probably going to be some important information there. After how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? Use the general projectile function above. I put it below here. Here's, this is just general formula. The height after t seconds, it's always negative 16 times t squared, which is the time squared, plus v sub zero is like the initial velocity that this thing is going. So they'll say at a velocity of, in this case, 32 feet per second. And then plus h sub zero, which means the initial starting height. Now, if we're kicking the ball from the ground, the starting height would be zero. It says the, or the velocity is 32 feet per second. So let's fill in some stuff here. Uh, we got h of t, the height after t seconds, <coughs> equals negative 16 times t squared, plus our velocity is 32 t, and then plus our starting height of 0. So if we just clean up that plus 0, we can just get rid of that. Now, if we're solving this here, let's see. Uh, we want to know when it'll hit the ground again. So when the height will come back to zero. Zero equals negative 16 t squared plus 32. Now, if we are solving this by factoring, my lead coefficient is negative, so we're going to have to kick out a negative. Also, 16 goes into both of these terms. So let's see, we got t squared minus 2 equals 0. Oh, geez. Yeah, I forgot the t on the 32. I was starting to get worried there for a second. Good thing you guys caught me. Hey, thank you. So, I kind of lied. The negative 16 will come out. Also, they both have a t in common, so we can kick out negative 16 t as the greatest common factor. So negative 16 t times t would give us negative 16 t squared, and negative 16 t times negative 2 would give us positive 32 t. Now with the zero product property, each part where there's a variable can have its own equation. So we could set up negative 16 t equals zero, and we could set up t minus 2 equals zero. Now to solve this one, we would divide by negative 16. Zero divided by anything is zero. Now we're, we're talking about time in seconds. So yeah, at zero seconds, it's going to be on the ground. We already knew that. We were starting from the ground. So this is going to be the answer we ignore. Here, we would have to add the 2 to both sides. So t equals 2, which means the ball will be in the air for 2 seconds. Now we are going to use the same vertical velocity formula for the next several. So you'll get used to just putting numbers in the same spots. We always fill in the velocity and usually the height as well. A football is kicked. Didn't we just do this? Oh, no. Now it's a football. A football is kicked from ground level with an initial vertical velocity of 48 feet per second. How long is the ball in the air? So. Again, we're looking for when it hits the ground again. So when the h of t equals 0, 0 equals negative 16 t squared plus the velocity on this one is 48 feet per second. So plus 48 t plus the starting height is getting kicked off the ground. So it's going to be plus 0, which we could ignore the plus 0 over here. Now if we're factoring this, 16 goes into 48. And they both have a t, so we can factor out a negative 16t as our greatest common factor, which would leave us with t minus 3 inside. Negative 16t times t is negative 16t squared. Negative 16t times negative 3 is positive 48t. We set up each part with its own equation. Negative 16t equals 0. t minus 3 equals 0. Here we would divide. But we know it's going to come out to zero. So at zero seconds, it's on the ground. But again, just like the last one, we already knew that. Here, we would have to add the three, which would give us positive three seconds. Three seconds. I'm going to start the next.